Hey guys and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome here at Mad About Skin. We're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future uploads. Now, in this video, which is actually the second video that we've up, um, uploaded today, the first video was on my five best SPFs at the drugstore. That video has gone wild. You guys have absolutely raved about it and loved it, but I've had a lot of comments asking, what is the difference between a chemical and a mineral sunscreen and what should I be using? These are fantastic questions. I thought I'd address this on the channel already, but I have, it's been within other videos. I've never done an actual video on this topic. And so I thought this perfectly complement as an evening upload to the one that I uploaded this morning. And we'll just really break that down. I'm gonna keep it quick because I don't think this needs to be a long video and hopefully just educate you about some of the science behind the two. Now, I've got two here. This is the This Works chemical sunscreen. This is the ordinary mineral sunscreen. What are the differences between the two? Well. There's quite a few key differences and I'm going to go through the pros and cons of each one and help you to make up your mind. Now, through all of this, there's been quite a few scientific studies recently that have said there's been some de that some of the chemicals in chemical sunscreen, some of the product ingredients used can alter the DNA of the individual. It soaks into the skin. It does go within the skin into the bloodstream and can impact the DNA and the cellular structure of um, the skin. Now, whether that that is absolutely true is absorbed in a way that the mineral sunscreen isn't whether that does have long-term side effects and damage is open for negotiation what i would say in all of this right up front is it is crucial that you use an spf i don't care whether it's chemical or it's mineral it is far safer to use an spf whatever the type than worry about the pros and the cons of each um type of sunscreen so i just want to get that out of the way first off you have to wear an spf because the effects of not in terms of the damage it can do to cells and the potential cancers down the line are so much greater than worrying about what the individual ingredients of either of these two types of sunscreen are. i hope that makes sense so definitely wear a spf and what i think really upsets me when I hear and speak to people is that they don't wear an SPF because they haven't found one that works for them and this is the key mineral chemical who cares you find the one that works best for you and your skin and makes you want to apply it and stick with it so Kelistat chemical these are the traditional SPFs these are the ones have been around years there's various different chemicals in fact too many for me to actually reel off now there's probably 10 to 15 key chemicals which um, can be used in chemical sunscreen they are fantastic they work the um this proven to block out a significant portion of the damaging rays of the sun and they work beautifully what they do is the chemicals go into the skin they're absorbed by the skin and they work with the skin chemical reaction occurs which then allows you to um, repel and absorb some of the um, rays of the sun without them doing damage to the skin and the cellular structure. Very different to how mineral sunscreens work which I'll come on to in a minute. So the rays are then absorbed but they're unable to do the damage that they do if, they, if you were not wearing a chemical sunscreen. Now there are studies which have shown, so that's a pro it works i'll give you another pro is generally speaking they've been around for longer so the formulations are slightly better you can usually get a more lightweight application you can usually get matte versions of it it's just there's much more variety another pro is they're often a lot cheaper so they sell more so companies are able to spread their fixed costs over a larger unit number so they are cheaper than mineral sunscreens some of the cons now in terms of biomarine life, if the chemicals which are used in here get near coral reefs, that can be a significant issue for that reef. So if I was living in Australia and I was sunbathing and I was swimming near a reef or any other country with reef habitats, I wouldn't be wearing this sunscreen. The chemicals react with the, uh, as taken into the water and they react with the corals and the impact the way that they work. I'm not a marine biologist, but the science is out there and it is proven. So if you are wearing a chemical sunscreen, be aware of the marine life which is around you, especially if you're dipping in and out of the sea. That's a con. Another con is it is absorbed into the skin. So, you know, there is always an impact if we take in a product and take into an ingredient into our bodies, there is always an impact of that. So you need to bear that in mind. Also, sometimes people can be reactive to the ingredients that are used in here. So you're more likely to have a reaction to a chemical sunscreen because those ingredients are absorbed into the body um, and they tend to be slightly 
more reactive to some of these ingredients so it might not be applicable to someone with very sensitive skin you might have, if you've got sensitive skin you might have experienced this that burn that you get with spf that's probably a chemical sunscreen so that's chemical mineral mineral works totally totally differently so what it does is it's either two ingredients so i said there's too many to list in this there's only two that go into one of these it's either titanium dioxide zinc oxide could be a mixture of both both of them sit on the skin they are not absorbed in any way they're in they're inert and they don't get absorbed into the skin what they do is they provide a barrier so when the light hits it's reflected straight off it doesn't allow the um, rays to hit the skin and cause the damage they if an spf of 30 in a chemical and an SPF of 30 in a mineral provide exactly the same protection. There is no difference. It's just different with how they provide that protection. So pro is works fantastically. Another pro is it's not absorbed into the body. So you do have that um, confidence that, you know, it's not going to be interfering with anything that might be going on in the body. Um, another, I guess, pro for this one is it is um, the very simple ingredients so often there's less to react to in these products so if you have had a reaction to a chemical sunscreen you might be less likely to have a reaction to a mineral sunscreen the drawbacks the drawbacks they're quite a few first of all they are expensive they are usually much more expensive like for like than a chemical sunscreen they um leave a white cast so both of the chemicals which go into producing the um ingredients in this do leave a white film on the skin some of them are tinted to help avoid that but fundamentally if you're using a mineral there's going to be an element of white cast on the skin so it doesn't photograph great and it can show a little bit white and pale on photos so bear that in mind they aren't comedogenic so most sunscreens sunscreens are formulated to be non-comedogenic but people with acneic skin might find um, mineral sunscreens to be a little bit irritating and potentially they tend to be harder to wash off the skin. So you've got to be very thorough with your cleansing on an evening if you're wearing a mineral sunscreen. That's something to bear in mind. Um, they're generally a little bit more of a cakey texture. So I find that they're harder to rub in. They take more work and it does leave a more cakey texture on the skin where these uh, the chemical is much more lightweight. That is pretty much it. I actually, if it's if it comes to would you would you recommend if someone said to me would you recommend a chemical or a mineral sunscreen, I would say try both and work find one that fits with your skin type. If you if you check out my video that I did earlier today, I'll link it again for you. Though in that video, I break it down by skin type. If you are oily, there's an SPF for you. If you are sensitive, there's an SPF for you. And if you are dry, there's an SPF for you. Don't worry about the mineral versus chemical argument. I think that's quite nuanced and that's quite niche. Do you know what? We live in a world where actually we should be really happy that we're able to have this debate because do you know what? Time was before we didn't have the choices. Often in some other poorer countries, they don't have the option of these things. So we should be grateful that we have a decision like this to make and um, I don't care which you choose just make sure you wear a, an SPF every single day and if you don't wear an SPF because you say it leaves me greasy it's too heavy it breaks me out I don't like the feel it's because you haven't found the right one for you so message me below tell me what are the issues with SPF and I will recommend you one that I will guarantee will change your skincare routine and just don't forget guys by the age of 50 eight percent of the of the damage to our skin and the aging in our skin has been caused by the sun's rays if you block them out now you won't have to worry about anti-aging down the line and that is fundamentally what this video is all about i hope you found this really useful guys let me know chemical versus mineral which do you use are there any particular products you like leave me a comment below i'd love to know until the next video guys take care apply that sunscreen and stay well